Har du sett det här då? Vad är det som är ute och åker nu? Är det morfars gräsklippare? Gör det. Och det är runt. There's a lot of pollen outside today. I can definitely feel it. If I scratch my eyes, it's gonna be chaos. <laughs> Just got done editing the previous episode that I posted and it was okay. I wouldn't say it is one of my best, but it was definitely okay. It took me around like 45 minutes to edit the entire thing. I started out yesterday, but I was so tired when we were about to go to sleep, so I fell asleep during the edit. Me and Alexander's grandpa are huge whiskey fans. And last year we bought two whiskey bottles each and tested them out during the summer. And this summer we bought another four that went to test out. And we tested them out yesterday and I could definitely feel the repercussions of drinking them today. I'm trying to have somewhat of a good routine of trying to format my memory cards each morning, but I do think it's pretty hard trying to remember that. So I just like offload the footage onto the SSD and then I put them back in and always forget it. So I'm trying to get better at that and I will use my Apple Watch as a reminder because otherwise I'm going to stand there just like yesterday where I can't shoot any more footage because the memory cards are full. mostly using the small camera to shoot these vlogs, but I always bring my big cameras as well. Because if something were to happen to this camera, then I need to have a backup that I can shoot on. It's also good for time lapses and when I'm taking pictures of the families to have multiple cameras as well. I'm gonna spend the afternoon at the beach today, which is gonna be nice. I'm personally not a huge fan of swimming in the ocean unless it's like 25 degrees or above. So here in Sweden, I very rarely take a dip. And last year when we was here, Alexander couldn't wait to jump into the ocean, but now he's afraid of the waves. <laughs> has been a little bit sick lately and um, she's feeling a little bit better which is great but since her vacation started she was supposed to go to her grandparents and stay there for a couple of weeks but now we're not entirely sure that she should go so I'm gonna go into the town and buy a couple of quick COVID tests so we can make sure there's not COVID. It also gives me a couple of minutes to get some good drone shots of a Strömsta. I just opened up the YouTube Analytics app and saw that the channel is over 3,000 subscribers, which is pretty sick. Even though I have like my main channel, I still think that that is a huge milestone. So thanks for being here. And uh, good to see that you're enjoying the vlogs because they, they are getting pretty good views whenever I post them. <laughs> I don't understand why. But tell me what you like the most about the vlogs because I would love to know. Had a great time at the beach, was really 
good to just lie around and take it easy. Now we're gonna eat something that's very popular here in the like west western part of Sweden. I, I think all of Sweden, but especially here in Strömstad, and that is crawfish. If you haven't eaten this, when you visit Sweden, do have some crawfish. Cra crawfish. <laughs> 